A Solana Beach woman convicted of murdering her stepfather after finding nude photos of herself on his computer will spend the next 25 years to life behind bars. It's our top story on the four. I'm Heather Myers. I'm Carlo Chiquetto. CBS 8's Kelly Hassadal was in the courtroom for Jay Jenks sentencing hearing and has more on what she's accusing her, her stepfather of now. Well, I was seated in the jury box, so I had a clear view of Jade Jenks as she walked into the courtroom. Uh, she looked scared. She looked nervous. It's clear in her opinion this case is far from over. Today, for the first time, she publicly accused her stepfather, Tom Merriman, of having inappropriate contact with her when she was a teenager. Unfortunately, that influence manifested itself into appropriate touch, coercion, reckless behavior, and complete violation of what I now realize is years of psychological manipulation. No apology from Jade Jenks to her stepfather's family. In her 44-second statement, she said this. I'm still picking up the pieces, and it's my sincere hope that over the next few years, I can put the pieces back and heal from this trauma. I'm sorry I didn't act the way I was supposed to that day. I think about it every day since. And to Tom's family, I understand you hate me for what you believe I did to Tom. However, there's a lot more than you'll ever understand. But prosecutors say Jenks is a liar, someone who twists the facts to fit her story. After trying to get her friend Adam to move the body and stage it to look like an overdose, she buried Tom in the driveway like a piece of trash. And now she's attacking Tom. The judge heard victim impact statements from five of Tom Merriman's loved ones. His brother Patrick grew emotional. I think about Tom every day and wonder how and why this heinous crime was committed. Everyone knew I know, love Tom. Tom, excuse me. This is difficult. Jenks was sentenced to 25 years to life. Outside the courtroom, defense attorney Mark Carlos was asked, why didn't Jenks bring up this alleged abuse during the trial? It's because Jade uh, has asserted that she did nothing uh, to cause the death of, of uh, Mr. Merriman. You know, had she actually cause the death of Mr. Merriman, that's something that goes toward a manslaughter. Uh, so that's provocation. And you could see at the end there, uh, she blew a kiss to her family as she was led out of the courtroom. Now her defense attorney says that he believes, quote, there are some pretty interesting legal issues that should go before the appellate court, but he did not give specifics. Kelly Hassett, CBS 8.